No football team from the Rio Grande Valley has made it to a state championship game in 60 years. Brownsville veterans has an opportunity to end the dry spell. The Chargers taking on Smithson Valley in the state semis on Friday in Corpus. The Rangers entering the contest on a 13-game winning streak. Smithson Valley has a talented receiver committed to Texas. The running back racked up more than 200 rushing yards last week against A&M Consolidated. Brownsville Vets head coach J.C. Ramirez respects the Rangers, but make no bones about it. He's confident his bunch can win once again. Their running back is extremely fast. Uh, they're very sound offensively um, <clears throat> and defensively. You know, you could tell that they, they play with a lot of pride. We love what we see on film because we know we're going to go up against a, a good quality opponent. Um, but we also know, watching film, that they're not perfect. You know, just like we have the things that we need to get better at, we were down 14-0 and then obviously 21-0 at some point. They were down 17-0. Smithson Valley has the advantage when it comes to speed and elite level of talents. At Brownsville Veterans, on the other hand, has the upper hand when it comes to scheme. The Chargers triple option offense hard to stop against PSJ North. They showed their ability to throw the ball against Corpus Christi Miller. They got the job done on the ground. A QB Storm Montoya doing a solid job of guiding the offense in the playoffs. The Rangers say it'll be an interesting matchup for their defense. Things that you do not see, and uh, in there, there, I think that's by design. You know, they 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 want to be good at what they do. They also want to be different. They know you haven't defended it, and so. All that comes together, and you got to get your players ready in just a couple of days against somebody who obviously is doing it at a great, a high level, or they wouldn't be here. There's a challenge always because they're a great team, but we just got to read everybody, got to read their keys and just play what they need to do, not make plays on their own, you know? 7 p.m. kickoff at Buck Stadium in Corpus. The game is officially sold out. 10,000 people already claiming their ticket for the big matchup will have live coverage leading up to kickoff and after the game.